Hey there, Leslie here. Hope you're having a great day. Did you ever get one of these little triangular warnings over a picture that you upload to one of your Etsy items in your Etsy shop? Etsy's so good at telling us what we can do to improve our listings. In order for your photos to be top quality for Etsy, you want to take your pictures in natural light, if at all possible, or the best light available. And then Etsy says that your photos for your items must be at least 2,000 pixels wide on the short side. And you want to have a resolution of at least 72 PPIs. So for this video, I took a picture of one of my badge reels that I have in my shop, and we're going to take that on over to the free Canva app, and I'm going to show you how we can adjust the size and we can adjust the quality of the photo. So let's go take a look. All right, so we're going to go ahead and edit our photo in Canva. So I came over to canva.com, and this is a free um, application, or you can get the Canva Pro, which has a few more features um, for $12 a month. So if you're interested in that, there is a link below in the description. So in the Canva app, we're going to go over here, and you can start in a number of different ways, but for this purpose, I'm going to start by choosing um, to uh, custom size. We're gonna choose a custom size, and as you can see, I've already used the 2000 by 2000 pixels, and that is a great size to use for your Etsy items, okay? Remember that we said it has to be at least 2000 pixels wide, um, so you could be a little bit more on the length side, but I just keep it at um, 2000 by 2000. So I'm gonna choose that, and now we have the exact size that this photo item or the item of our photo needs to be. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, sorry about that. So I'm going to move on over here to uploads. And I've already uploaded this photo earlier. I um, haven't done any editing on this photo. I took it with my phone and I uploaded it to Canva earlier. So here it is, and I'm just gonna choose it by clicking on it. So we can already see that when I pull it over here that it's not the right size. It's not covering all of this, this area that I've already sized at 2000 by 2000. So first, I'm gonna turn it. You see the little circular things here? Because I would rather it be this way. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the edge here and I'm going to drag it and resize it as much as I can. Now by pulling it out a little bit, notice how it zooms in, which is exactly what I want. I want it to be a good close-up photo. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our photo at the exact size that it should be, 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. But what I'm not liking is that the uh, background here, which is actually a white wood grain, is very grayish and dark looking. So we wanna make that pop a little bit more. So we're gonna go up here to the Adjust tab and click on that. And now we have the features to increase the brightness. So I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. See, it's already looking so much better. Now when we brighten it up a little bit, it kind of makes the pink not pop as much as it could. So to make that come back out a little bit, we're gonna adjust the contrast just a tad by pulling it up. And then also you can adjust the saturation just a little. See how that made it pop just a little bit more? So that's all you have to do. You just upload your photos, you size it to 2000 by 2000, um, and then you adjust by using this adjustment here. Now you also have a crop feature that you could use, and that's okay, but still you want to make sure you're keeping it within that 2000 by 2000 pixels. Another thing you could do is you could actually flip it uh, horizontally or vertically. And in this case, um, there's not really any reason to do that, but some things that wouldn't have like a, a directional 
um, situation like a name or something in writing, you could, if you wanted to, you could change the direction of the photo. So that's all you have to do to edit your photos in Canva. This is a really good application. There's so much you can do with it. Um, and so if you're interested, again, the link for Canva is down below in the description.